Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 12 of chapter 8, section 1. Find the exact length of the curve x equal to y to the power 4 over 8 plus 1 over 4y square where y lies between 1 and 2. We have two formulas for finding the length of the curve. Uh, integral a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square dx when y is a function of x and x lies between a and b or you can also use integral c to d square root of 1 plus dx by dy the whole square dy when x is given as a function of y and y lies between c and d. Here you are given x as a function of y and the limits for y are given, the bounds for y are given. So it makes sense to use the second formula here. x is given to be y to the power 4 over 8 plus 1 over 4 y square because we are going to differentiate this in order to get the dx by dy um, that's used in the formula. Uh, we are going to write uh, 1 over 4 y square as 1 over 4 y to the exponent negative 2. So we can apply the power rule to differentiate. So dx by dy which is a derivative of x with respect to y is so 1 8th is a constant then derivative of y to the power 4 is 4y cube. This is with respect to y and then for the second term 1 4th is, com is um, kept out and then you take the derivative of y to the power negative 2 by power rule it is negative 2y to the power negative 3. So if you simplify you get 1 half and here also you get 1 half with a negative sign. So it becomes 1 half y cube minus 1 half y to the power negative 3. Now we are going to do 1 plus dx by dy the whole square which is the expression inside um, the radical to integrate. So it is equal to 1 plus square of this. So, so 1 half y cube minus 1 half y to the power negative 3 the whole square. So if you expand that, it's going to be 1 plus 1 fourth y cube minus, uh, you are going to write the cross product term, which is going to be 2 and 1 half is going to cancel out. Then you are going to have um, negative, it's going to be negative 1 half y cube times y to the negative 3 that will be y to the power 0 which is 1 plus 1 fourth. Um, this is going to be y cube times y cube so square of that. So this is also square of y to the negative 3 that will be y to the negative 6. So 1 plus dx by dy the whole square is you can combine these two and that becomes this 1 minus half 1 half. So if you write from the highest exponent 1 fourth y to the power 6 uh, plus 1 half and then you have 1 fourth y to the power negative 6. Um, we can actually write this as a square of a binomial. So it is 1 half y cube uh, plus 1 half y to the negative 3 the whole square. So it will have three terms. So the first term is the square of this. The last term is the square of this. And if you multiply two times the first term, times second term, that will become just one half. So having this expression as a perfect square is one very convenient for us because when we integrate, so we see that something in the radical. So the radical and then the square, so they cancel out nicely and the radical part goes away. So we are going to do the second formula here, so which is going to be L. L equal to integral which is the arc length integral. So we are going to have square root of half of y cube plus half y to the power negative 3 the whole square dy and then we have to give the variations for y. In the problem the variations for y is given to be from 1 through 1 through 2. So it is integral 1 through 2. Um, square and square root it cancels out. So it is half y cube plus half y to the negative 3 the whole thing dy. And now we want to integrate each expression. 
So if we integrate each term you get half y to the power 4 over 4 plus 1 half y to the power negative 2 over negative 2 um, everything evaluated between the limits 1 and 2. So by the first fundamental theorem of calculus we are going to in calculus 2 we are going to apply the upper limit and then find out evaluate this at the lower limit and then subtract. So it's 2 times 4 so 8 and we have y to the power 4 minus 1 fourth y to the power negative 2 evaluated between 1 and 2. So you get 1 eighth 2 to the power 4 so it is uh, 4 times 4 that will be a 16 um, minus 1 fourth 2 to the power negative 2. So that is for the upper limit then for the lower limit so minus 1 eighth 1 to the power 4 so 1 minus 1 fourth 1 to the power negative 2 that will also be 1. So it will be um, 16 over 8 so that will be just a 2 and this will be minus 1 over 4 and then times 4 2 to the negative 2 then you have minus 1 eighth plus 1 fourth if you simplify all this so it will be 16 as the LCD that will be 33 over 16 when you simplify. Okay. Hope this video helps.